There's so much noise and confusion out there. Everyone giving you their input as to what they think you need to do on how to grow your successful online coaching business. So how do you know which route or strategy is for you? I'm Laura Lee Humphreys, and in this episode of Faces of Freedom TV, I'm going to cut through a lot of this confusion and noise, and I'm going to lay out for you the three phases of business development that you need to follow in order to have a very successful online business. You get these in the wrong order, or you even leave out a phase, and you set yourself up for mounds of disappointment, frustration, and wasted time. Take it from me, I've done that. So tune in because these three phases of business development aren't necessary or important for you to understand and realize where you're at in them so that you can build a business that has a very solid foundation that will last for years to come so that you can create the lifestyle that you love through a home business, business, home business lifestyle. So I want to start out with a quote by a woman who has recently become one of my teachers that I've learned quite a bit from her about marketing and sales. Her name is Diane Hockman, and she says that selling is a science. When laid out properly, it doesn't take a lot of effort and it's easy. If you lay out the process improperly, then it's an exercise in frustration. If you don't know how to calibrate an offer, you're stuck in the convincing game versus making sales. So I want to ask you, is that you? Are you stuck in the convincing game wondering why you can't make any sales? Well, listen in because let me lay this stuff out for you. And I'm drawing this from some of my own experience when I was going through some business coaching a few years back, then what I was taught was actually how to do these three phases in the wrong order, then I wondered why things weren't working for me. So let me lay out some, dispel some confusion for you. So the first phase is you're learning how to simply promote. You're learning how to be a promoter. You're learning how to build an audience online, how to connect with people. It doesn't really matter at this point what you're promoting or selling. The most important thing is that you're learning the skills, the basic fundamental skills of promotion, of learning how to set up your social media profiles so that they seem attractive, knowing what to say in the profile, knowing where to include an opt-in link, which you do need to have an opt-in link in your profiles or somewhere easy for people to find them. You're learning how to basically get leads and build an audience, how to connect with people and develop relationships so that they like you, so that they start to feel a curiosity of, oh, who's this woman? What is she saying? Let me follow her, let me, let me check her out, like her, become friends with her so that I can become more familiar with what she's doing. So this is just the beginning phases. You're learning how to make a few basic sales. You're learning how to connect with people in your social media posts, where to post, how to post, and what to say in a way that encourages people to come to you. Where to go, for example, within Facebook groups where your ideal client hangs out and knowing how to post in those groups in a way that number one, doesn't get you thrown into Facebook jail, and number two, doesn't annoy the admins of the group and so that they throw you out too. So a lot of the groups have a lot of restrictions and they monitor the posts with good reason because people can just kind of get carried away in some of those groups. And so you've got to know how to play within those groups in a way that you still can build the relationships and attract people to you so that they come over and look at your profile, opt into your freebie download and get onto your email list. So it's all about growing your list, developing these basic skills of promotion. And part of that too, is you're starting to learn about copywriting, the art of words, the art of writing, of how to write your emails so that people will open them, especially the headlines of the emails. 
So a lot of this stuff, it takes time. Maybe it's new skills like the copywriting. For me, I've written a lot over the years. However, to tweak it in order to do copywriting, that's a different angle of writing, different intention. And so that's a new skill to learn. Maybe it is for you too. Maybe you need to take a course or two on copywriting so that you can get really proficient at that skill. So it's learning that foundation. Without that, then you're really standing on sand and then you wonder why you're insecure when people come to talk to you about what you do, talk to you about your programs and your products and your services because you haven't really built a solid foundation under you. So get that laid first and it's going to take however long it takes. Some people can do it quicker. Other people, it may take a little bit longer. You can't gloss over this phase, this foundation, and cover it up by spending money on ads. Especially with most people, when they're starting out, a lot of people just don't have the kind of budget that they need to have anymore to run ads successfully and effectively, continuously. You may have realized too, as I have, that it's a little bit harder to run or to get ads or the prices of, on them have gone up quite a bit. And so in order to have them ex done effectively, then more and more people are having to put more and more of a budget away from it, for it. So if that's not how what you can do yet, then you've got to learn either way. You've got to learn these basics of how to promote. Okay. So the second phase you develop into is the personality promoter. This is where you're getting comfortable with what you're doing. You're starting to play around with your copy more and allowing your personality to come through. You're allowing your people to see you, all the quirks and little nuances of your personality, the craziness, as well as the emotional seriousness so that they really get a sense of who you are so that they like, follow, and trust you. This is also where you get really comfortable being in front of the camera and having pictures of your face all over so that people again can find you and become familiar with you and get curious about who you are to follow you. And as you're doing this, you're still promoting your offers, your products, your coaching programs. You're still getting really good and even more proficient at selling them because you're getting more proficient at growing an audience and copywriting to write your your offers in a way that really touches people's hearts so that they want to open their wallets and support you with their money. You're learning a lot how to do curiosity posts, really learning how to inspire people through the art of word. So it's not just a skill, now it starts to become an art form. And your copy becomes even more proficient, more artful, more touching, and where your personality comes through as to who you are. And through that, as you are growing yourself with your audience, then you are developing yourself into being more of a leader, feeling more comfortable in that role because people are seeing you as that. More and more people are looking towards you for direction, guidance, insight based upon the content and everything that you've been consistently sharing online. So and thirdly in this phase is to start really playing around with multiple platforms on social media. So you're not just on Facebook, for example, you start going into LinkedIn and Instagram, doing more with your blog or on YouTube so that people can find you in multiple places and you're developing content in multiple, multiple places so that you have several things to send people to when they ask about what you do. So it's just a building, a layering, and expanding of all these basic things on your solid foundation. That leads to the third level of development, and this is where you become the professional, the expert where people know you because you've built your business up enough to where you've become your own brand. So people can recognize your name. So for example, some of the large names in the industry and coaching industry, just think of who they are. Like in the online or home business industry, names are people like Eric Worre or um, Ray Higdon. 
in the coaching business you, or coaching space you've got like digital marketer um, you've got Brendan Burchard you've got the really large names hence uh, granted they've been doing this for a while because they've been doing this for a while then now they're they've built up that name and so you too can build up to that point provided you're consistent and stay with it and really a honing in all these skills laying your solid foundation so this is where you've been in the game long enough that you've survived financially so that now you have the cash flow to really up your game on everything so you can have some help like with some VAs or assistants to helping you with the graphics with your videos with your um, editing of things to make it really nice and crisp and clean and professional and not so much that it seems unrelatable and out of reach to your audience it's just leveling up your game a bit more so that it becomes much more of an art form where your personality is still coming more coming through and so that they know you but it's just everything's just not ratcheting itself up constantly you feel much more comfortable being that leader and being in front of a crowd because you've built that crowd so now you get to stand in front of them and lead them and teach them so and this is also the phase when it's really easy to develop your own courses your own products because you now have a lot of the experience behind you to put into those courses so that people can really see you more and more as the expert as the leader rather than trying to do it backwards where you're trying to become an expert and a leader before you've even laid this foundation before people even know who you are so you've got to go through the steps to eventually get there so this is also in this third <clears throat> third level is where you can build out larger coaching programs my higher end um, more higher end exclusive coaching programs with a higher price point and higher investment for your clients as well as doing collaborations and joint ventures with other professionals other coaches so that together you can promote for example your course or your product and dramatically increase your sales as well as your email list so I'm sure you've probably seen or watched track watch other coaches and other people track as they've built their business and this really doesn't have to take a long time just think of it like within two to three years again depends on how consistent you are how committed and dedicated you are to your craft of building your business and how willing you are to work through the obstacles the rough spots especially the first little part when you're learning the basic skills you know how much time can you really um, put into this and really make it good so with me my experience as I mentioned I was taught basically <laughs> around the backwards way of doing this so I remember a lot of my coaches were saying it's like you're a professional you're an expert here's the program do a course promote it and it's very easy to get all wrapped up in and lost in content creation of creating your course or your thing coaching program so that you don't spend the time on learning these basic skills of actually how to build an audience how to grow your email list and how to promote it's too easy to let that be a distraction an excuse to not learn those basic skills because those may feel uncomfortable for you because it's a new thing and you have to stretch yourself and become more transparent and open to the world to allow people to see you so that they know you before they'll even ever spend money on your coaching program so don't make the mistake I did and do things reverse recognize these three phases of business development and growth and simply go through the process and just know that this is how things develop you don't walk be you walk before you run you take small bites of like milk and salt and liquid foods before you dive into that heavy hearty steak that's very difficult to digest so as with everything that I offer all of my videos then I offer you a resource and of course today is no different so what I have for you is a complimentary training on Instagram of how you can start using that platform to apply the skills that I've mentioned to you here so you can start learning the basics of promoting of 
of building an audience, of doing your opt-ins, of having your call to action, and doing it in a way that it doesn't really have to take that long. Because Instagram is one of those platforms when you can get leads and grow your audience fairly quickly. So grab that download, go through the training, apply it, and start getting a sense of, oh, I'm, of where you're at in these three phases whether it's you're at the beginning, are there things in the beginning promoter phase that you feel a bit rough around the edges or things, gaps that you haven't learned at all? So here's a chance to fill in those gaps and learn some of those basic skills of promotion, which is all about attraction marketing, of encouraging, inspiring people to come towards you and then pointing to them to what you have to offer as opposed to chasing after them endlessly in an exhausting way and be an annoyance for people who probably don't want to hear you because you don't know how to approach them in a way that inspires them to come towards you. So grab my download, enjoy the Instagram training and tell me what works for you. So did you get value out of this video? What did you like best? So like, comment, share, subscribe to this channel, spread it with, uh, share it with others. And as you know, every week I drop another video here on, on Faces of Freedom TV, teaching you insights and tips and mindset techniques of how to create a life you love through a home business lifestyle. You can also find me on my website, laureleehumphreys.com. You can find me on Facebook under my name, Laura Lee Humphreys, and Instagram under, again, my name, Laura Lee Humphreys. So until then, enjoy your week and enjoy the Instagram training for you, and I will talk to you soon. Take care.